Hi! This Sunday is the first week of Advent. Some would say at last, some would say too soon. I don't know about you and your part of the world, but here we have snow and it's very beautiful outside. And for this first week of Advent, we have a text from the prophet Isaiah. A beautiful text when the prophet foresee a time when uh, the people will come together to the mountain of the uh, Lord's house and they will live together. They will turn sword into plowshare and a new, a new world will come to, get, come to be. And some would say if we would not live in this world, it would be a beautiful vision. But for some, this is a, an utopia. This is something very painful because, because we live in a world where we don't see it possible. We don't see that people would come together because there's so many war, there's so many divisions. Divi Divide, division, sorry, so many division in our world. And and we don't see how it could be. It's, it's just an utopia. Because, like I said, there's war in Syria, in, in Myanmar, there's genocide happening right as we speak. And, and country seems to say, well, that's the way it is. And they seem to apply this... Um, Latin expression, I don't know if you know them, civis pacem parabellum. If you want peace, you have to prepare for war. So we buy more um, weapon of mass destruction, more plane, more bombs. But Advent is actually the time to claim that another world is possible. And we can affirm that. Advent is a time of refusing the status quo, refusing to accept what it is, what we witness every day with some sort of fatality that we cannot do better. Advent is a time to believe that, yes, God will denounce the injustice. The people of God would be involved in this world to work for equity, for work for transformation, not just for a happy few people, but for everyone. And Advent is a time that to, Advent is a time to claim that what is considered to be an utopia can be possible. It can be possible with the help of God. It's a time to dream and to work for something that we cannot vision, we cannot understand and still strive for this world. It's it's in a way, it's the same thing to dream about peace or a just world as what we're asked to do for Advent. Because as we think about it, what it is, we're, we're preparing ourselves to celebrate the birth of a baby who would become, at the eyes of history, a nobody from nowhere. And yet we can't, we know that is not the case. We know that this tiny baby, the one we call the infant Christ, changed the course of S3 forever. So let us work. Let us work. Let us dream bigger dream. Let us go for this, what some would call utopia. Where it is, let us strive for something that is bigger and yet possible. So that's all for me today. I hope you enjoy this and thank you for watching. My name is Stéphane Vermette. I'm the lectionary man and until next time, take care of yourself.